Welcome to Weld.com. I recently got a call from a customer that wanted to make some repairs on some, uh, some mild steel. Uh, I can't remember what the product was, but he asked me about a gasless flux core wire. Can he run that outside? Can he make a good structural weld on this particular type of application? And I said, yeah, I believe you can. And so I want to I wanna experiment with going downhill with half of this. I want to go uphill with half of it. I also want to turn it over when we're done. And I want to run this backside, this whole fillet weld, I want to run that uphill. Okay, uh, really nothing different that we would run or technique wise as far as uh, a regular MIG with the shielding gas. Uh, again, gasless flux core wire tends to be raspy and it spatters a lot. It's almost like it's almost like stick welding with 6010 or 6011 turned inside out. And that's really kind of what it looks like and sounds like. So let me get some gear on and we'll experiment with this particular application. Okay, I have this, uh, this, this outside corner weld here. Again, we're going to turn this over. <clears throat> I'm going to do the backside fillet. Two things in technique here. When I'm going downhill, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point this back uphill and drag it. I'm probably pointing uphill about 30 degrees. When I get ready to go uphill, I'm gonna be pretty much straight in, maybe down angle about five degrees. I'm gonna give this very little oscillation, just enough to get the pool out to these edges here. I kinda call this a poor man's bevel. It welds pretty much like a bevel. Uh, my values, I'm on uh, C25. I'm not using any gas. I'm on gasless flux core. I just caught myself. My values are 17.5 on my voltage, my wire feed speeds, about 260 inches a minute. 030 gasless flux core. So I'm going to use a very slight side to side. I could use a couple of different motions here. Uh, again, you'll notice this is kind of raspy. I'm looking about an eighth of an inch above the wire. There's a little shelf of where the flux is solidifying. And I'm just kind of going back and forth. I can use a circle here. I have options. motion here is basically straight back and forth. Again, not a lot of wire movement. Anytime you're running flux core, you don't need to move around and whip it. You just kind of stay right in the pool and trust it. I can't see the back side of my pool as well as I can on the downhill part. Again, uh, we have slag and we have a lot of spatter. I know that looks kind of ugly right now, but uh, that's okay. It's, it's supposed to look like that. I'm going to go clean this up. I'll be right back. I cleaned this weld up. Um, it looked really ugly before we, I, and I'll, again, I just lightly buffed it with a, with a grinder and a wire wheel. And I've even left some of the spatter on there to kind of prove that, uh, yeah, it's on there. But it cleaned up nicely. The, if you'll notice both of the, this is the downhill part. Uh, it has more of a ripple pattern to it. I was going back and forth and I, I did a couple of circles down in this area here and they all showed up okay. Again, look at bead profile. Our edges are melted in and it has a, a nice roundness to it. Same thing when I went uphill over here, it's built up slightly more. Uh, and you don't see much of the ripple pattern. I didn't have a whole lot of motion in that area of the weld. Uh, again, I was just kind of coming up. I had a, a very slight side to side. Uh, I believe I mentioned during the, during the weld that you, know, you, you don't need a lot of motion when you're running any kind of flux core, uh, especially this gasless. Just, just stay in the weld pool and trust it. 
Uh, it looks different, it sounds different than our normal MIG with shielding gas. Uh, again, I, you know, it's fine. The, the whole point is you can make acceptable welds with this process. It, it just, you know, we're, we're just not using a shielding gas. Yeah, hey, stick welding doesn't use a shielding gas. So it's just wire feed, uh, gasless flux core. It's different. It's, it sounds raspy and it's a lot of slag and smoke and everything, but it, it's, it's okay. Trust me, it'll make some good welds. So I'm going to turn this over and I want to do this backside fillet weld uphill. Uh, I want to show you that you can make a nice weld on the backside of this. So let me position this for the cameras and we'll be right back. I'm going to make this weld on the back side, this fillet weld. Probably going to go a little more than halfway up just to show you that this is um, kind of completing this whole joint if something needed to be welded completely. This is how you'd probably go about it. Again, I'm not using a whole lot of motion of any kind. Very slight side to side. Keeping a consistent wire angle. Electrical stick out. I'm just kind of staying right in the tool, leading edge of the tool. Now, you know, we could just, you know, if we're trying to do, if we're building something and we require this whole weld to be made, um, we could go downhill as well. Probably wouldn't leave the, the good profile that we needed. We're on 3 16 material. We're not making much of, much more than a 3 16 weld on the backside. We don't need to. But again, we're completing this joint. Um, again, it's hard to recognize our weld because of the, the light slag and the spatter. Uh, I'm going to go buff this off. It, it'll come off real nicely. So let's, uh, let's clean that up. I'll be right back. I cleaned this up with a uh, wire wheel. I buffed on it a little bit. You can see just a little bit of the slag left on the toe. I did end up with a slight crown on this. Uh, I, could probably, I probably could have got away with doing a, a value change. Again, I wanted to show a little bit of buildup. Uh, bead profile wise, this probably looks like running a piece of 7018 on the back side, 332nd, just dragging it up where you get, where you get the uh, um, convex bead shape. It's not bad by any means. Uh, structurally, I think this is very sound. Again, we did the outside corner joint, half downhill, half uphill. We did this side by dragging this uphill. To show technique, you know, just to stay in the weld pool. We don't have undercut on the toe of the welds. Uh, you know, I think this is a good demonstration for those that are running a, um, a small MIG machine that want to save some money and, and do a, a gasless flux core. Uh, let's say that you need to take it out somewhere and, and run a portable weld somewhere away from, from inside where you could run a shielding gas. I think this is a very beneficial process. Uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the videos. We'll put out new videos each Monday. Thanks for watching Weld.com.